everyone. My name is Rashid. Uh, you will be reading one of the scripts that uh, our professor sent you. Uh, shout out to Millsaps College audience. Thank you guys for acting it out for us. It will be a pleasure to see it and good luck. How is that possible that out of all the people in the world, you're the one jumping with me? Hey, I didn't sign up for it either. How the hell did they even hire you? You're the most irresponsible person I know. You tend to forget everything that's important to you. You even hey, lack- Calm down. You're being very rude. I know I forgot your birthday and our anniversary. Picking up from the airport a couple times. And also, you cheat on me because you forgot I came back from work at eight. Yeah, that too, but other than that, we had a great time together. No, it wasn't. You didn't even say sorry. You just ghosted me for weeks. I was thinking about giving you a second chance. Hey, Mel, what's going on up there? You gotta jump soon. Sorry, little delay here. Gonna roll soon. We have to jump now. I want you to say sorry for what you did. You know that I'm still traumatized? Of course you don't, because you never even asked. I loved you and you broke my heart. Sarah, can we do it after the jump? You really have no time. Give me your word. I'll record it now. All right, all right. I give you my word. Oh, you have to jump now. Sarah, I forgot the parachute. <laughs> Hello, I'm Peter, a student from LPG and I'm really excited to see my scenes come alive thanks to you guys. What is the issue? What are you so afraid of? Nothing. You are not tough enough. Stop embarrassing yourself and just- Shut up! Shut up! What do you know? You know nothing. My mom thinks I'm a fool, my father couldn't care less, and you won't give me a chance. I spent my whole life doing what was expected of me, and acting is the one thing I love doing despite what everyone believes. And this is my moment. Embarrassment, huh? Why do you want me to fail? You'd love that, wouldn't you? Everybody expects me to fail, to be an embarrassment, but I won't. I won't. What's holding you back? I need to be a great actor. Nothing else? No. Do you have a girlfriend? No. Do you have any friends? Does it matter? Answer the question. What's your point? You want to perform realistically, but do you have any experiences to draw from? <laughs> what are you trying to say? Do you enjoy your life? I do. What do you enjoy? I enjoy acting and watching movies. Besides music. acting. I, I enjoy uh, walking. Um, you understand now? Understand what? You foolish boy. You're so obsessed with this idea of being a great actor that you cannot see the real issue. What issue? The thing that has been holding you back for so long. What do you know? The reason why you cannot bring your character to life is because you don't know how to live. <laughs> I'm alive, aren't I? <sighs> this ain't a life you were living. Can you perform hatred if you've never felt it? What about anger or madness? I... What about love? Have you ever experienced love? <laughs> of course you haven't. You cannot bring your character to life because you haven't experienced life itself. But your but eyes aren't seeing. Your lungs aren't breathing. Your heart isn't beating. And only your head is thinking.
I got a job. Really? Yeah. Is it an internship? Uh, no. I'm going to be performing at the jazz bar on Broadway. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Do what you want. Just keep up with your classes. I dropped out. You think winning one competition deems you good enough? Well, doesn't it? Isn't no, that it does not. That's that's your problem, Mama, not mine. You know better than that, Phil. You still have a lot to learn. You really think you'll stay on top? I will. No, you will not. This is show business. It's so hard and so dark. Nothing lasts. I'm afraid that you, you need a degree, Phil. What happened to being a music professor? I thought that was the plan. That, that, that's on your agenda, not mine. But don't you wanna- I wanna perform. <laughs> I'm, I'm not okay and you know it. This is a good thing. I, this piano obsession is the problem. I know it. The piano? <sighs> it'll, it'll be the best for you. It's What's best for me? Have you seen me, Mom? I, 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 I can't put on this act anymore. But, Phil, we are fine, right? You and I? <laughs> I'm not, Mom. I don't know about you, but I'm not. Nothing is fine. I can't breathe. It will pass, Phil. It's just a phase. Stop it, all right? Stop. This is not okay. This isn't okay. None of this is okay, Mom. We can't keep going on like this. Not okay. Do you know what it's like to be on stage? I guess it feels like... It makes me feel, Mom. It makes me feel good, alive. I, I work so hard. Everybody does. You just needed to shift your... I feel nothing, Mom. Nothing. I feel nothing. <laughs> but not when I play. When I got on that stage for the first time in so long, I, I felt the air, the temperature, the sweat on my skin. I felt my heartbeat. I felt alive. You know what this means to me. I know. I deserve to be there. The applause is what makes my life real now. I, I'm appreciated, Mom. It's what's missing in me. I know it. <sighs> I'm a wreck, Mom. And if I don't do something about it, I'm not going to make it. That's what I'm afraid of. Hello from the American University and shout out to American Millsaps College. Okay, what's next? I don't know yet. That's interesting. Don't be so edgy, Barnes. Mrs. Barnes. Oh, come on. You've been Barnes for the past 30 years. And for the last 30 years, I kept telling you it's Mrs. Barnes. Why are you here, Donald? I told you the script. The idea of the script? Yes, because I won't write it unless I know you'll pay for it. You want us to explode the helicopter in the first five pages, Donald. We need to know that the script will be profitable before we agree. You CGI or whatever. That's not the purpose of the script. Okay, forget the explosion. 
and we'll cut the trench part out and cut directly to the car. And then the director will talk to the actors and that's it. There, it saves you money. Now let's proceed to the contract. Do you remember your last movie was a failure, Donald? So what? One failure? Everyone has one. The three ones before that barely made it. But they made it. Let me be honest, Donald. I'm your friend. And I gave you the green light a lot of times. Even when I wasn't sure, even when I knew you'd lose money, I kept giving you chances. And now, when you're 80, I guess it's finally time to say, we don't need you anymore. With all due respect, maybe it's time to retire. I understand, but I know this time will be different. Just imagine how you could sell it. The former great director the brilliant scriptwriter, the one who lost it all in his past years is back to write a, a film about everything cinema stands for. Isn't that a great promo? I don't even know what you're writing about. <laughs> uh, give me the script, we'll talk. I can give you the script tomorrow, no problem, but it'll be shitty. So I need time and need that contract. And also, I don't know when I'll die. But whatever I've written by then will be enough to write a film. Just imagine the newspaper's headlines. He died but wrote it. This fact on his own will make it to the box office. What if you don't die when you finish? Okay, sorry. But the script will be the cheapest one possible. And you'll have three months. I need a year. The cheapest one. Hey guys, Ivan Bundakov here. I hope we didn't disappoint with the other writers. I hope you had fun reading what we have written. And big shout out to you guys for the collaboration to Professor Friedrich and got we uh, we send much love from Bulgaria. Who's there? Mr. Ivanov? Alexander Ivanov? Yes, yes. This is Dr. Peskolov from St. George Hospital. I'm deeply sorry, but I have to inform you that your son has been in an accident. An accident? Yes. Your son has been in a car accident. He is in bad condition. The ambulance is currently driving into the hospital. Good Lord. Sir, your son is in desperate need of an emergency operation. What do I do? Sir, sir, your son just came in. He's in desperate need of emergency operation. Good Lord, what do I do? Listen carefully. In order for the hospital to operate on your son, we, the hospital must receive the money necessary to perform the operation. Do you understand? Yes, yes. All right, you need to write this down. Do you have a pen or paper near you? Yes, yes, quickly, please. Write on this address, 24 Banaya Street. Did you write it down? 24 Banaya Street. I want you to withdraw 5,000 less from your account and bring it to that address within an hour. Do you understand, Mr. Ivanov? Yes, yes. And if I do this, my son will be okay. Of course, sir. He's in the hands of the best surgeons in the country. Uh, 
sabe, logístico praticamente. Of course. Uma guitarra, what do I do? You give the money to me, of course, and uh, afterwards you wouldn't have to worry about your son. No, no, that part is clear. My question is, how would you handle the money after I break both of your arms? Do you know who I am? Do you and your phones give anybody check the numbers you call? Uh, go yourself. <laughs> <laughs>